Greetings, pool fans everywhere. This is Reno. We are AccuStats. This is the finals of yet another major tournament. I'm Grady Matthews in the booth with my old and good friend Dan Louie, and we really have a match in store for your viewing pleasure. Ramil Gallego. Doesn't sound familiar to you? Well, I never watched him hit a ball till a couple of matches ago. He's 32 years old. He's from the Philippine Islands, now resides in Los Angeles, and he's playing Efren Ray is in the finals. And Dan, this is a different format. It's two out of three races to six in the finals. Well, this should be pretty interesting. Uh, six is actually a pretty short race, and, um, and anything can happen in race of six, and it's going to be a, a very exciting match. Yeah, that it will. And it's been exciting all week here. Uh, championship pool every single day and night. They started with 231 players. We're at the Sands Regency, by the way, where they're always nice to the pool players. And the equipment's gold crowns, Simona's cloth, four and a half inch pockets. And I look for some really uh, great nine ball playing. And it's coming up right now as we prepare to watch Efren Reyes break the balls. Oh, he's changing sides. He broke from the other side of the table in his last match. Okay, the one went in the side. There goes the nine ball. How about that? Well, he must have had a feeling that the nine was going to go. That was interesting. He changed sides because all last uh, match that he played with Buscamente, he broke from the other side. Right. And he was breaking successfully. Without that kind of result, one to nothing Reyes. Tell you though, we've both fallen in love with the, with the game of Ramil Gallego. Though I mean, he uh, he has a great break. Uh, hits him with a real good velocity. He plays good position, good defense, and I don't see any weaknesses in his game. No, he certainly surprised a lot of people. This is the first time that many of uh, many of the spectators here have seen him, and he's uh, certainly impressed a lot of people with his play. Okay, game number two. Well, he made the one on the side. Okay, the three balls by the lower right-hand corner pocket, and he has an angle here to, to punch the cue ball out, uh, oh, maybe a foot or two, and be able to pocket the three ball, shooting the cue ball between the seven and eight. And I believe that'll be his uh, position route. Okay, well, this is better. Laying it over on the side rail like that. Of course, that's a, a Reyes Forte, the inside English. I don't think he can go two rails around the nine and get above the four, can he? Without hitting it? Yes, he could, barely. Nice shot. And he's in a uh, pretty good position here. Let me just draw this straight back. Well, it's not the best angle in the world. He'll have to kill the cue ball here. But, you know, I don't think I'd kill it. I'd just go ahead and shoot it in with uh, maybe a touch of right English and go two rails up on the side rail with the cue ball. Like this. Good shot. He went a little farther than he meant to. I like coming down between the seven and eight here if I can. Okay. Is that ball going aside? I don't believe it does. Well, it must, or he would be taking a little extra time here. Oh, okay, he had room, sure. Well, I tell you, just like that, it's going to be two to nothing. Beautifully executed. And for Ramil Gallego, he has yet to approach the table. Well, they have one saying here in pool. If your opponent's in his chair, he can't win. That's for sure. Yeah, that's the way you defeat great players is have them seated. But also, Efren may be sending a message, too. Uh, he may be saying, well, uh, when you play me, if you don't run two and three and four racks when you get a shot, you don't have a chance. 
You know what the thing that Siegel used to do better than anybody that I ever saw to this day? He'd get ahead of you two or three or four games, and then he'd play you safe. I mean, and, uh, uh, that's rough. I mean, he, he was really a hard guy to beat. He was always quick out of the gate, just like Efren's doing here. Okay, now he's snookered. He's going to have to roll out here or kick at the one ball. That was kind of interesting. Uh, we asked Efren if he had ever played Ramil, and, uh, you know, he said, uh, well, I spotted him two games going to 20, and he beat me. You know, two games going to 20 isn't that big a handicap. No, not that big of a spot. And, uh, and I believe Efren said that he may have improved his game a little bit since then. So, Probably. you know, it's, uh, Efren does have his uh, hands full in this match. Now, this is what I don't like. This is really hard. You're down two to nothing. It's the finals of a major tournament. And you can't get on the two ball even if you make it. But you're scared to give it to Efren. I, I think you take it and try to just come uh, a couple of rails back down the table and get where you can hit the two ball. Besides, it goes in the side. Looks to me like if he doesn't hit it too hard, that the cue ball might come roughly two rails towards the four ball. Now, if he hits it harder, it'll come shorter than that. And you play to overcut it just like that. But uh, let's see how Efren hits his shot. I don't know about you, Dan. I find this to be one of my most difficult shots. Over a ball... Uh, a fairly thin hit. It wouldn't be that thin if he weren't over a ball, but it's hard not to hit this too thick, and he can't really put any English on the cue ball. That yeah, makes it extremely tough anytime you're jacked up, but right here, I think I'll just hit it easy, and, he, and even if he nudges the six, he should have a shot at the two. Okay. Well, let's see if he makes it. It's hard to make it. Oh, he's got room to dig down into it, I guess. That was an extremely tough shot. Anytime you're jacked up and you're using draw with a little bit of English, that makes it a very tough shot. Well, now he's in pretty good shape. He's looking to see if the four goes in the lower left-hand corner, and I believe it does. He'll just draw the cue ball back above and beyond the four like this. Now, uh, I suspect low lefting this over to the side rail and back out in the middle of the table. Just like this. And uh, he can just float this in the pocket, maybe just above center ball, a bit of left English. Just like this. And he's making the game look easy at the moment. Nice, nice. Now just draw it back a few inches. Try to get straight in on the eight. Now just make the eight ball. It's all that's necessary, and it's going to be three to nothing. Advantage Efren Reyes.